pictures of the ISIS ID trio now coming to light. The photograph of Yasin and Maz, who are said to be the aides of Shah Rukh, now revealed the first on Times now. So these are the three people. Remember, they knew each other since pre-university days and had already been radicalized. They had been seeking out information of the ISIS plot and wanted to establish an ISIS calif Islamic caliphate in the country. Deepak, uh, seen for the very first time, the two close aides of Shah Rukh. And like you mentioned, these are the three individuals who were already radicalized since the pre-university days and for years they had been collecting a lot of material wanted to establish an Islamic caliphate in the country. Yes, uh, uh, probably the pictures on the screen are of uh, Yasin and Maz. They were picked up by the police, uh, you know, a couple of months ago. We had, of course, put out these details then as well. But now, uh, you know, considering how important this case is becoming uh, with the arrest, uh, or rather after, uh, you know, Maz is now, right now who's hospitalized, who of course will be eventually arrested. And after this explosion, you know, the role of these three people become uh, so much more important. Uh, the, this, this trial, of course, uh, has been working uh, with various people, not just with, with themselves, of the police believe that you know they believed in radicalizing more people so the, the main aspect of the investigation if, uh, if you go by what the Shimaga police have been attempting over the last couple of months or what the Mangalore cops will do is to ensure if there are any more people inspired like these people if they had communicated with them shared their ideas with them shared their thoughts of radicalization or setting up an Islamic caliphate and any of these thoughts on these lines they need to be caught or you know neutralized or in any way ensure that they are not a harm to society the DGP mentioned one aspect today that the intention was, uh, you know, to create, you know, a disharmony in the society. Uh, the, we even asked him, you know, very pertinent questions, uh, uh, the Home Minister and the DGP while they were there at the press conference about how they mask their identity using Hindu names, Hindu ID cards, Hindu profile pictures. In fact, even after the blast, if you take a close look at that video that, of course, we put out on, on Times Now earlier, uh, he's seen wearing a, saf a, a saffron towel around his uh, waist. And uh, this is something that's uh, there uh, for everybody to see. And this shows to the extent of which they were trying to mask their identity. Uh, and, uh, the, you know, the, the police went on to say that it was an intention to create disharmony among, uh, you know, uh, religions in the country to break the unity of the nation. So uh, the agenda was uh, uh, much more. And, uh, you know, we, we were quite fortunate that, you know, right now he's, uh, he's, he's with, uh, uh, you know, the police. And uh, probably once his health gets better, when the police question him, uh, you know, more of their agendas, their network and their plan uh, will come to the fore. That's right. So, Sharik was aware that he was already under the radar of the police officials, which is why he went to great lengths to uh, hide his identity. In fact, the uh, SIM cards being taken in other names, renting rooms in other names, these are some of the details that the police officials have revealed. In fact, his WhatsApp display picture, saffron shawl that he had been wearing. So, he went to great extents to ensure that his true identity was completely masqueraded. So, in Coimbatore, Sharik had rented a room in the name of Gauri. This lodge owner has confirmed two times now that it was in fact Sharik who masqueraded as Gauri. We are at Madhi Magal VN Lodge in Coimbatore, which is very near to the Gandhipuram bus stand, one of the busiest bus stands in Coimbatore. Now, this is the particular lodge where Mohammed Sharik had stayed. He stayed here from September 3rd to September 6th, assuming a different identity. We spoke to the lodge owner, Mr. Kamaraj, over here who was earlier uh, even questioned by the police he had given information later he was let off now based on his information we were given to understand that Muhammad Sharik had stayed here assuming the identity of Gauri and he had also stated that an identification was given uh, stating that he was Gauri at that point in time Muhammad Sharik had procured a sim card through Surendran is what we are given to understand and due to which Surendran has been being questioned by the police and in fact he was picked up uh, by the police but the question still remains where he visited who we visited because we are given to understand through our sources that while he was in Tamil Nadu he had visited Coimbatore, Madurai and Nagarkoil with video journalist Jay Prakash, Sri Prapanch for Times Now from Coimbatore. 
அவர் எங்களால் ஐடென்டிஃபை பண்ண முடியல கௌரிங்கிற பெயரில் தான் ஒருத்தர் கர்நாடகாக்காரர் தங்கியிருந்தார் அவ்வளோதான் இல்லை அவர் தனியாக தான் வந்தார் அதான் கர்நாடகாவில் ஏதோ ஒரு ஊர் அந்த ஆதார் வந்துட்டு கௌரி பேர் ஆ அந்த மாதிரி தான் இருந்தது இது கிடையாது இல்லை So his footprints go all the way from Karnataka to Tamil Nadu to even Kerala. Times now learns that Sharik also stayed in Alua in Kerala between September 13th and 18th. And it was here that he received a package from Amazon and these had parts to make a bomb at home. I am standing right in front of the Aroma tourist home in Alua next to the Alua railway station here uh, in Ernakulam, Burr. Uh, Mohammad Sharik the main accused in the Mangalore blast case had stayed between September 13th and September 18th remember he was staying here and he was interacting with a number of people and he has also believed to have collected materials especially explosives uh, during that period of time and he has also brought uh, certain items gadgets to Amazon and the uh, police and the ATS is investigating as exactly who he was interacting with who he was associating with and whether he did have any other activities in connection with that particular case the kerala intelligence the state intelligence uh, is uh, currently uh, assisting uh, you know the ats and the karnataka team at this point of time they are providing all the informations here what we understand is that mohammad sharik had come here stayed with a different identity and uh, for 5 days between september 13th and september 18th he was staying in this particular lodge right behind me uh, what you're seeing on the camera and uh, the police have conducted uh, a raid out here they have uh, checked uh, the detail they have spoken to the people out here and then uh, they have left uh, day before yesterday following which uh, this particular place uh, there has been people who have come here uh, and to know what exactly happened this is exactly the place where he has stayed uh you know he has taken a single room and stayed here for 5 days police is currently investigating uh, what exactly what he was doing here in aluwa in kerala uh, remember uh, this particular blast case has created uh, a, a, you know a lot of uh, issues as far as the investigation is concerned and this investigation uh, spreads not just in karnataka in mysore and mangalore but in uh, other states also police uh, yesterday uh, there was a meeting here in ernakulam where the state and the central intelligence team uh, were present they also ascertained the situation on the ground uh, here in kerala